We're now going to look at different types of computer, their size and processing power, advantage and disadvantage of using computers, and their different uses. Right. One of the ways we define computers is by looking at their size and their processing power. The physical size of a computer would be something like your desktop computer, which is a large computer, or your laptop or notebook, which is much smaller, and even your phone which is also a type of computer. The bigger the computer tends to be the faster the computer because obviously a larger computer can you can store more processing power in it and that used to be the case. However, as things have developed a lot of your very small computers, your laptops are very 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 powerful and uh, a lot of them are faster in fact than some of the desktop computers. But traditionally the bigger it was, the greater the processing power. Right. The one type of computer you get is called a server. Um, it is used in networking environments. If you have a computer lab at your school or if your school runs administration, you would find they'd have servers in the admin office and the individual users, teachers, admin staff would be connected to that computer. They would be the workstations and the server would have the large hard drive that would store all the data, keep all the information and it all stays in one place. Then you get your consumer tablets and your tablet PCs. Those are the flat computers usually with a tap screen, tap, touch screen like an iPad. They are portable. They are designed to be controlled through your touch screen interface. They usually have Wi-Fi and they can be connected to your cellular networks like Celsi, MTN and Vodacom as well. Right, your server provides services to the users in the network. Your desktop, laptop, notebook, netbook and tablet PC are the ones that you use for your day-to-day -day work. They like to be creative, they like to write notes, to do your work and even to study online as you're doing at the moment. You get a consumer tablet um, it's used for accessing digital content across the web, email, create documents, play games, etc. You get a variation on that which is used for reading um, books online and it's called a Kindle. And then you also get the smartphone which enables you to connect to the internet and use various service, services. Right, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a computer? First look at what we do use computers for. Use, computers are fast, they're accurate, they're good at repetitive tasks, they do not get tired or complain, they do not demand increases in pay, they're multi-purpose, they enable faster communication, they're excellent at records, and they allow for many and varied methods to process and analyze data. So what are the main disadvantages of using computers? Well, they get out of dated. You know, your phone, you keep wanting to change it every year or two because it gets outdated. The computers get faster and they are, they can be very, very expensive, especially if you want to have a very powerful computer. They can't actually think and solve problems. You have to make them do what you want them to do. And they need to have specially developed software to make them run and that also gets outdated which may add to the general complications. Right, let's have a look at activity three. There are six questions here and they will just revise and check to make sure that you understand the work that you have done. Please complete activity three before going on to any other work.